During the COVID-19 pandemic, many chose a project to help cope. Romero Maldonado chose to renovate his grandpa's old workshop. My name is Romero Maldonado. I'm from Chicago. I was born in 2001, so currently 20 years old. Uh, my profession at the moment is a student at UIC. I'm currently a student majoring within the fields of chemical engineering. Oh yeah, so this room used to belong to my grandpa back when he still roamed the earth. This project was an emotionally healing one for him. Converted what used to be his own little uh, shack into my personal space in order to reuse it. Because I saw it as a waste originally, because having a room in the house that's just collecting dust, it, it's very inefficient. He was a big hoarder. Um, he was a great guy, but you know, sometimes people have certain things that are not accepted within today's society. And being a hoarder was one of them. He used to collect every single little knickknack. Basically, I spent uh, the whole summer when the pandemic hit. And it's actually a very surprising process when you see the before and after photos. Every single day, I would spend four to five hours, put on a podcast or put on episode of Hoarders on his little TV cleaned up just enough to put a little plywood table in there. What were kind of the stages of development for your room? To go with the marks, every single mark incorporated cleaning up just a bit more of the room. So every mark had clean up, let's say an extra 10% of the room. And the first one, mark, or the second one, mark two, basically focused primarily on the ceiling. Step three was then the walls. I had to tear out the walls. Again, insulation in there would probably existed way before I did. Mark four was the couch. Mark five was the floor. And now Mark six was just tech it out and um, actually make it into my room. Yeah. But basically with, uh, with this little thing right here, this is actually a sink uh, for resin 3D printing. Again, in order to maximize it, I turned it into a makeshift desk as well. He combined his love of engineering and his skill in art. Creativity that stems from the ADHD. But as you look over here, you could see a 3D printer, uh, little uh, resistors, electronics there, jumper cables, whatnot. We created that mural during the summer with my friends. But most importantly, he made a space where he was free to be him. It's very important to be intentional just because you want to feel or you want to have a space that makes you feel that you're at home. So if you create your own little environment where you could basically maximize your, or your stress levels and whatnot, it, again, it affects your uh, basically your work output, if anything. So that's why it's very important to customize. So you just feel at home rather than I'm just going to clock in, clock out of my job. This has been Joel Ortiz for Loyola News.